Now we may invite and request our Honorable Chief Guest, Srimati Smita Sabarwal, IAS, Additional Secretary to Chief Minister, Mr. K. Chandrasekhar Rao, to address the gathering. A very warm good evening to all the members of the Akshara family, CEO, principal, faculties, the teachers, especially the parents and the students. So it was heartening to see such a complicated subject like demonetization being presented so simply and beautifully by the talented children. And uh, it speaks volumes for the institution and its vision. I was really, uh, really touched to see also the minute expressions on every child's face when he was performing, he or she was performing their respective role. So shows the attention to detail, the sincerity, and the overall vision of keeping uh, abreast of all the affairs that is happening in the country and keeping everybody, the citizens, informed. I was also very, very happy to hear from CEO Garu that this is one of the few institutions which has become cashless also. So you're leading by example. Congratulations to Akshara. And I hope the spirit continues in the future. So today I have not prepared a speech. I am coming straight from work and uh, I will just share one or two thoughts with you. I hope they will be relevant to you. To me, education is the greatest leveler. It is the only instrument that we can give to a child which will help him or her to have a level playing field. Whether the child comes from a rich family or a poor family, whether from a backward class or a forward class, if the child has the power of education, then in Akshara's words, you give him the wings to fly. So in that spirit, I congratulate the institution for its ideology and hope that uh, the spirit continues, that you truly enable each and every child to really explore and uh, be prepared for this competitive world. Here, I would like to make an appeal to the parents and to the teachers. Let, joy, let learning be a joyful experience for them. It's an extremely competitive and stressful world, but if we teach them to enjoy the learning process, if we are with them to enjoy the learning process, they will grow up as balanced and joyful human beings. And I'm sure this spirit will take them well into the future. Whichever stream, whichever field of work they choose, they will continue to be productive at the same time, healthy and happy. So this is a quality which we imbibe from childhood. It cannot be taught when they are grown up. And uh, I appeal to the faculties, to the parents, to allow your children to really grow as uh, children. We often ask them, what will you be when you become an adult? What will you be when you grow up? I would appeal to you to start asking them, what do you want to do today? That is important. Because all of us have to grow up. We have no choice. And some of us, when we grow up, we want to be children again. So don't make them lose their childhood and all the competition and all the stress. Let them really be encouraged to pursue their dreams, pursue their interests, be it music, dance, co-curricular activities, dramatics, sports, because our country needs everybody, each and every one of us, not just engineers and doctors and bureaucrats. They need creative people because that is what is society. When we all contribute and come together, and make a very vibrant, cohesive society. And uh, my small appeal to the mothers in particular, teach your girl child to be ambitious. It's not a bad thing, you know. The women who do very well in their professional lives, they have received that education early in their life when their parents have encouraged them to be ambitious, to question to use their logic. 
in india we have a mindset where in very subtle ways in very soft and calm ways we tell a girl child to be to be quiet to be obedient you may not do it consciously but our elders our grandparents sometimes even parents we tend to believe that a quiet child is a good child but do learn do allow them to question do allow them to be ambitious and give that space to your girl children to really grow to really have careers to have the power to decide what they want to do with their lives once you give them the education they should not be educated just to marry them off and make them eligible for uh, you know to be floated in the marriage market is what i would like to say so with these few words and uh, my little appeal to all the children out here all the kids out here how many of you believe in god raise your hands everybody doesn't believe so almost everybody believes in god agreed have you seen god has anybody seen god your mama papa is here with you today sitting next to you so they are god on earth okay you respect them love them they are your best friends and nobody on earth or nobody in the sky can think for you can plan for you can dream for you more than your parents so respect them always when you grow up and are successful people you remember that they are your god that is my only message to akshara and i hope in the coming years your institution grows truly in the sense that they provide the best learning outcomes to children it is not just about the right to education now the world has moved on it is the right to learning outcomes and i i hope that this institution truly embodies that spirit i will just invoke the gayatri mantra for all of you because i hope that goddess saraswati should always be the guiding light for all of us om bhur bhuvasvah tat savitra varenyam bhargo devasya dhimahi dyo yona prachodaya may we always see the light thank you thank you very much ma'am your thought provoking address would have surely inspired all especially mothers and fathers that's parents thank you very much